What's up, everybody? What's up, everybody? Afro Joe here, Tay Like T.I. is again. Oh, I just caught some latest news, and I thought it was kind of fucked up. Now, everybody knows the trial of... Everybody heard about the Trayvon Martin and Zimmerman trial, right? And it's awfully funny, like... Like, what was it? We didn't, Nobody didn't find out about the incident until March. And then in March, they didn't get the evidence... Uh, didn't have the uh, what, what the 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 pictures of the head wound until what January or uh, June June or July. Then they waited so much to show that the surveillance tape in August or September. That's the head wound. They said that he got it. He, Zimmer said his head was banged against the uh, sidewalk, and it's kind of funny that, like I said, it goes to the side but knocked down. If your head's been banging on the bang against the concrete, the splatter of blood will went straight down, not on the side of your head. If he's banging it down. But today I read that Zimmerman's lawyer I don't like see see this is what makes the case much harder to be, makes Zimmerman's uh, story much harder to believe because his lawyer is making is is not building the case for it's not helping uh, Omara that's Zimmerman's lawyer Omara is not helping Zimmerman he's hurting Zimmerman why did you wait to the last minute why did you wait to December to show this picture of Zimmerman's nose broken and how do we know it's the real picture without somebody photoshopping see how can we tell that wasn't Photoshop? How can we tell? Now you look at this picture and this picture. Oh, this picture, you can't hardly see the wounds. All you see is red stuff going down the back of his head. But like I said, they showed this picture today. And I, I thought... In my mind, why did these people wait till the last minute to show this picture? Why did they wait ten months? Why did they wait ten months? Ten months before ten months to show this picture? It makes no sense. It made no sense. It's the same thing when Dick Gregory asked the same question about the surveillance tapes in the store. How come the police didn't ask for the tapes of this convenience store that Trayvon went to? They waited so long. To, they waited what? They waited what? March, like three, like two to three months to show the surveillance tapes of Trayvon in the store. And they wait 10 months just to show this picture. But they waited the same amount of times, like four months to show that picture. It's not helping Zimmerman's case. It is not helping his case whatsoever. It's not. How do we know that this picture was recent? How do we know this picture is recent? If they waited 10 months just to show this, why? how do we know this picture was recent? I don't know. It could have happened yesterday. It could have happened today. It could have happened the day before. It could have happened sometime last week. We never know because they now just showing this picture. This Omara guy is really not helping his client. They said the trial is going to be in June of next year. June of next year. Why wait to June of next year? So why wait six months to prosecute this dude? See, y'all staggering. They playing a little bit too much. They waited, what, ten months? Then they gave him bond and they revoked it. And then his, he got, his wife got arrested for lying about having money. And she got locked up. This is a three-ring circus. If 
if it would have been a black guy that shot another black guy, oh, it would have been death row immediately. But since Zimmerman is half half German and half Latin Hispanic, they don't they they waiting this long. And plus, he's got money. He's got all these felonies against him. He's got a record. And he lives in an up, upscale neighborhood. But he ain't, got, he ain't been prosecuted yet. Oh, it was funny as hell. Motherfucker was about to prosecute uh, Robert Blake for the murder of his wife's death. Y'all went, they went through hell and back. They kept him in prison. They kept him in prison for years until they finally said, you know what, he's not guilty. Now y'all, now this is, what, what makes it any difference between him, Zimmerman? Like I said, man, he's getting away with so much. I just don't get it that these people are sitting up here late. Mm. They waited 30, they waited 10 months. Ten motherfucking months just to show this picture, and ain't nobody questioning it except for me. Ain't nobody sat there and say, like, "Hey, why did y'all wait so long just to show the picture? Hey, why didn't they show it on the day that it happened? Why didn't it?" And it, and the funny the funny thing about it is, the story didn't even hit big. It didn't even hit CNN. It didn't even hit CNN. Uh, CBS, ABC, NBC, Fox, until BET says something about it. It takes a black na It takes a black. It takes a black network just to show, just to tell the story of a black person getting killed by somebody of a different mind, different race. And it happened in February when when BET told the story. It took the rest of the damn other networks a month just to pick up this story and it's funny like I said they waited 10 months just to show this picture and the damn and he's been dead Trayvon's been dead for 10 months his father and his mother's going through hell because of it and then it's kind of then I hear a lot of people sitting up there oh he oh Trayvon he's this and this, he did this he he hasn't been arrested just because he's been suspended from school doesn't mean he's got a fucking record. But you got Zimmerman that's been in trouble with the law with bu uh, with uh, assault and battery charges that was on him in the past and nobody's questioned that? But people's ready to throw Trayvon under the bus and this and mm, I just don't get people. I'm going to post the story in the description box and I want y'all to tell me what you think. This question should be going through your mind. Why did they wait till the last damn minute? Why did they wait till the last damn minute almost the year is out to show this picture? I'm telling you, they waited so long to show certain pictures and show certain evidence against him. They waited a month or two months or three months or four all the way from one month to ten months to show evidence trying to make Zimmerman look good which is not which is not it's actually making him look bad and his lawyer what a, he, he say he the baddest he thinks he the baddest dude in Florida Dude, you're screwing over your client. You're not helping. It's like letting a pedophile represent a child. That's all it is. That's, that's what it's like. It's like letting a pedophile represent a child. It's like... It's like that. You is not helping your case. What's he? He is not helping. Omara is not helping Zimmerman's case. So uh, we're gonna release the picture of his nose been broken. He could, that could have happened yesterday, day before yesterday. It could have been Photoshop. How do we know the technology today? Anything is possible. Photoshop or or this been done the day before yesterday. Sometime last week, probably a month ago. 
people would never know because he, Omara, rated 10 months just to show this picture. And that's the stupidest thing a lawyer can do. If he was going to make his make his client innocent, don't you think don't you think that you should have put out don't you think you would have laid your cards out there on the table just to prove your client was innocent? I know I would, but not this old moral fucker. He's sitting up there screwing over his client whatsoever. He really wants this guy to go to jail much as the black people down in Florida. Even Stephen Wonder can see that he is blind. Now that's bad business. If Stephen Wonder can see that, then you know something's really going on. And I'm sitting there looking at this, man. Even a deaf man can tell what's going on. And they can't hear the story. But they can read the story, but they can't hear it. But it's like he was, he's not helping his client out whatsoever. I'm sitting up here looking at this stuff. Thinking in my mind. How much. How, it just think, it makes me think in my, thinks in my mind that. Like. Does this lawyer ever think. This Omara character. Ever think how much damage he's doing. He's doing more harm than good for his client. He thinks he's. Oh I'm actually protecting my client's privileges. I'm actually going to help him get out of prison. Get out of this. Look, he married an arm. He he killed an arm, unarmed child. You can say, say, well, well, he's seventeen. In a state, certain states, he's under the age of eighteen. That means he's unarmed. He's a child. If he walks from this, like I said, if if Zimmerman walks from this, there's gonna be a a, a death like a mark for death on his head because they just let this man walk away from murder and this and it makes no sense that it makes no sense how he this the, 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 it makes no sense how for his lawyer to wait to the last minute to show anything he is not helping his his client whatsoever he is not helping his client whatsoever and that's how it is. It's not helping his client whatsoever. And he's it's like why like to me I still say, why wait? Why wait to June to prosecute June of next year to prosecute this man? There's been people that did the exact same thing. That murdered somebody and they got death row. Oh, there was self defense. The boy didn't even have a weapon, so why? How you gonna claim self-defense on that? Anybody can see, see that. A deaf person can see that. A blind man can see that. A small child can understand that. They go question it just like anybody else. Why? Like, where's the like? For real, I asked the question in some of the videos I did about about uh, about the case in several other videos. I asked the same question. If Trayvon Martin seen 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 Zimmerman with the gun on him, why would Trayvon attack him? That's still the question. The lawyer would never answer. The lawyer would never answer it. Zimmerman lied. And that's how it is. That is how it is. It's still, it's still the same damn thing. It's still the same thing, damn thing. And I still think, uh, and I still think that it's like is he's going. I, I just don't get this whatsoever that this guy, this Omar guy, still think this guy is innocent, even though the evidence is kind of stacking up against him and this making him look up. Oh, I think he's got a good chance. So, you got the weapon to kill the boy. You got him lying about having the money. 
the evidence in the story don't match up with any witnesses or his story like witnesses lying about certain stories people saying they really didn't see nothing but they heard it only real test good testimony that they got was from the Trayvon's girlfriend saying that he heard the conversation and he heard she heard that Trayvon said why are you following me you heard the testimony and you heard the recordings of the well yeah the testimony and the recording of the girlfriend saying when she heard and you got the police recording saying please do not follow him but he did everything every piece of evidence that's been put out there is stacking up against him it's not for him it's against Zimmerman I'm for real man that is bad business that his lawyer thinks that oh they're gonna win so that so that when the tape so when the officer told Zimmerman not to follow him and so when you started uh a neighborhood watch the police would always tell you never carry a weapon only a cell phone that's the only weapon you need second you got testimony and the recording of the phone call with Trayvon with his girlfriend he saw the boy walk out the gated community and walk in The videotape of the boy going to the store buying him some some something to drink and some candy and it happened at seven they said like I think between seven to eight o'clock at night p.m. and I'm sitting there scratching my head I said you know what I said if I was a judge and I heard this evidence the first thing that comes to my mind is this it's like He's guilty. That wouldn't even have a jury of his peers. If I did, it'd be. It just makes no sense to how. They can say, wait till the last minute to show this picture. Wait till the last minute. To me, I still think it's Photoshop or it's a recent picture. It doesn't even look like it came from. It, didn't, it doesn't look like this picture right here this was actually probably between two to th I don't know two to three months old before they showed a picture this picture and it's waiting they waited ten months just to show this come on come on what do y'all think why do they that the question should be stuck in your mind why do they wait ten months just to show this picture and same with every other piece of evidence Dick Gregory did there was a video recorded where he was protesting about the case and it was in March it was in March and I'll actually find it and I'm going to post it in the description box too where he's like dating it's like a month later that's when this the video was taken and it was actually said so they didn't even ask the convenience store for the tape and why did they wait so long to tell his parents that he's dead that Trayvon was dead and why did they give Trayvon's body an alcohol and dr narcotics uh, drugs test? But they didn't give one to Zimmerman to see if he was on anything and drink or drinking. Like I said, it makes no sense. To me, they, there's a lot of cover-ups. I still think something's really going on because these people ain't really... I, I just don't get it man it's just it's just something I just don't get it whatsoever on how it is down in down in Florida because it makes no sense that the guy got arrested they say they took the pictures they they, they say they took this picture the head wound which makes no sense in this one but on the videotape I didn't see none of that I ain't see a bandage over the head, over the nose, and they took him. I didn't see no blood on his face or on his clothes. It showed that he was bleeding from the head or from the head or from the nose. Second thing is, what really makes me ponder. It's like they released him, knowing they just shot. He just shot a kid. On I'm kid, and they ain't even question about that. They ain't nothing ran through their mind, the police mind. But they let the 
man go. They let Zimmerman go. And they gave back his gun. They gave Zimmerman back his gun. They released him and gave back his gun. But they waited a few months just to charge him for murder. You tell me something ain't right. You can say, oh, they ain't charge him for murder. They try to take that off the table. But it's something else. It, it, it's, it's, it really makes you think. Think about if Trayvon was your child and Zimmerman walked up and shot him in the line and said, oh, I was self-defense. You would be pissed just like everybody else. It could have been your child. It could have been your niece, your nephew, your grandchild, your cousin. It could have been anybody in your family. It could be your neighbor's child. Nobody helped Trayvon, but they tried to help Zimmerman. Oh, they, I didn't really see nothing about her. It sounded like a little boy. No, it sounded like a girl, man. None of the, none of the witnesses' stories compared up. You got one that said, you got one that said, oh, it was Trayvon. The other. But the truth, but it's like this. He is guilty as can be. All the little evidence they putting out in the media, whatever you say, well, you can't believe everything which you put in the media. But it's like this. When they released that picture and they released it today and they waited till like 10 months just to show that picture, they're actually lying. they making him look even bad by doing this but it's like this man it's stupid it's it's just plain stupid I just don't get this I just don't get how they try to make him look innocent as can be but you shot a, a kid in cold blood and claim self defense man come on how do you shoot somebody that's unarmed unarmed without it and claim self defense I don't get that how do you do that oh he had a fit hold up he don't got nothing to back his story up. I, I just don't get this I don't see how anybody can take up for this man because of his because of his bullshit it just makes no sense it's like to me they wasted like to me the the justice system down in Florida is wasting a lot of time with people. That's a lot of taxpayers' money that they're wasting down in Florida. Which they could have used the money to do a better job. Instead of waiting ten months instead of waiting almost a year just almost a year just to prosecute this dude and send him to trial. There's been cases where they did it in two months, and then the, and the person that was found guilty was had life in prison or death sentence. That's 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 something else. This is bullshit. This is bullshit. And uh, I'm a, that's how I like this. I like to. I'm gonna say this. Tell me what you think about this, cause it's going up everywhere. I want to know what you think about this situation. Like the question, like I said, the questions. I want two questions to pop in your mind. First one is, first question is, why did they wait till the last minute to show this picture? Why did they wait so long to show certain evidence, like certain piece of material, several months apart, from one to three months apart, or ten months apart? Third, why would an armed arm kid? attack a person with a gun why did the police let him go and give back the murder weapon to Zimmerman and that's how it is and that's how it is the questions these questions should be going through your mind right now. Why did he, why did Zimmerman's lawyer trying so hard to make himself look good and make him and make Zimmerman try to look good? He killed a black kid in the neighborhood with a gun that was unarmed. The kid was unarmed. Oh, Joe, that's racist and a black kid. Well, that's what he was there. I ain't gonna say. Oh, it was a kid. What color was he? He was. 
what was his ethnic back he was black you can say okay what color was the kid how tall was the kid what, what, what gender was the kid it was a black kid it was a black male kid that was 17 years old that got killed in the neighborhood just because he walked to and from the store died 70 feet from his house parents didn't even know he was dead to three days later gave the body of the teenager a drug and alcohol test but they did not do the damn same damn thing to Zimmerman Zimmerman's got a record where he's had assault and battery charges he's been in trouble with the law before but they still made Trayvon look like he's a criminal they made him look like he's a thief a criminal a murderer and a child molester, which he's not Trayvon does not have a record, but it comes down to it like this. Zimmerman is guilty, 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 because it's bullshit how these people are letting him, trying to make him look good. Like I said, this picture could have been photoshopped. This picture could have been took last night or the night before. It could have been anything. Because, like I said, why would you wait 10 months to the day to show this pic? of Zimmerman with the busted nose which I did not see in the video that he was in well this has been Afro Joe 10 like a TI is follow me on Twitter at Afro Joe the Wookie follow me on Tumblr you're gonna get that in the description box follow me uh, subscribe to my channel Zillow Junior 2 Zillow Junior 3 I'm gonna put the video put the, the story in the, the story the news story in the description box I'm gonna put the uh, I'm gonna put the uh, what uh, the video of uh, Dick Gregory when he talks about this in the description box and tell me what you think because to me he is more guilty they trying to cover it up that's all it is like I said man do the right thing man and find justice for Trayvon Martin peace love and so